are, fam. So, <laughs> woo. that boy Van Jones got checked. Okay, he was talking all that smack on behind the camera on the internet. <laughs> got that boy checked in person. All right, so I think I think how you say his name. I, I hey, I'm a butcher this like bad, but I think it's like Vivek or Vivek or. I don't know. Look, I don't know how to say people's names. Okay, I'm not. I'm not the best at pronouncing people's names. But apparently, my man, I'm gonna just call him. I'm gonna just call him Vivek. Vivek. I don't know. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Okay. But he checked Van Jones. All right. He checked him in person. You know what I'm saying? He 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 checked him in person. I think this is what every man needs to do, especially when you're having a man behind a camera. You feel me? Not saying nothing to your face, but behind the camera making all these different assumptions and all these different allegations against you. Just a lot of stuff, okay? Just talking mad stuff behind the camera. But let's see if he bring that same energy on in person. You know what I'm saying? I ain't here for the violence. I, ain't here. I don't want to see no fighting or none of that, but I feel like man to man, you should be able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bro, look, I ain't, I ain't look, I don't, I don't really mess with how you was talking all that. You feel me? over the camera like I want you to say it in my face so apologize you feel me but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get into this man enough talking hit the like button subscribe let's get it let's go <laughs> So we got death threats. We got death threats after the thing you said. So that's 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 Van Jones for you. So you were on air and you said that you know you said that he's a demagogue, he's dangerous, he's gonna be around for fifty years long after Donald Trump's gone. So the first time in the campaign we get a death threat of a man who wants to show up in New Hampshire. Thankfully the police intervened got it. The next day, the next day, back to back days, so my wife's scared enough. The next day we wake up, it's 3 a.m. We get a call from him. He's my security guard saying, thank God you picked up because we just got a call. Somebody showed up at your house and has four dead bodies. Out. So that's within 48 hours. And I'm not going to attribute that to your comment because whatever it is. But for our family, you know what? Publicly I didn't do it, but for our family, yeah, it pissed us, that, pissed us the heck off, actually. And so the reality is I don't try to engage in rhetoric that gets other people in, in danger of bodily harm. But I do think that if somebody's going to, even if you didn't intend to provoke that kind of ire on my family, yeah, in that week it landed with me. Now, at the same time, am I going to... Test, test. Do I want to set a good example for people in this country of what discourse looks like? I do. And in the heat of a presidential campaign, and I've been open about it since I left the campaign as well. My competitive spirits, you know, sometimes stop us from being able to have the level of discourse we want. And I think you were wrongfully pushed out of the White House for your comments around 9-11 way back when as well. They were misconstrued, exactly. So, so, so what I will tell you is this. Yep. So I just wanted you to know that backdrop. That's my, so my personal song, don't give anybody else. Okay, well, we don't need to do any of this on air. You know what we can do? Is we can turn the page and maybe have a chapter to demonstrate what actual good discourse looks like in this country. And that's not just on you, that's on me as well. Okay, that's on two of us. Yeah. I, hey, that's, it's, it's, it's classy of you to say so. And I hope we can build a friendship. I really mean that. Please do. Okay? Thank you. Take care. Take care. Thank you. See, that, like... <laughs> He didn't really want to. He didn't really want to conversate because he's seen all the cameras. But bro, you said something publicly. A public? What? Oh my gosh! I don't know how to talk English. You said something public, and if something was done public, I believe that a conversation about what you said should be also done public. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you said in private and you took it to public, that's a different story. But you said something on air that caused his family to re to to get death threats. You know what I'm saying? This man is a husband. I don't know if he has kids. He probably do. Most likely, he probably do. He look like a good father, okay? He probably definitely got kids. But it's just like if he says something public about you and, and, and says things that can cause your family to, re, to receive death threats, you probably would have checked him too or probably you would have hid behind the camera again and start talking all that stuff again. You feel me? But I feel like this right here, this is the way that you handle, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A conversation that I don't know. I'm, I'm I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um, uh, a dispute. Let's just say a dispute. Is that the right vocabulary word for this? But this is the way you handle a situation, okay? Because again, this could have went left. He could have came 
and and hostility. He could have came and tried to you know fight him and all that, and then security had to break in. And he could have done all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But he decided to have a conversation with this guy and tell him like, look, hey Van, you need to watch what you say because y'all have to understand like, as public figures, you literally have to watch what you say about anybody because again, you cannot agree on a topic. It could be political, religion, whatever. It don't matter. We all humans. We all have our different mind. You know what I'm saying? So I may think that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you may think that uh, Muhammad is Lord. I don't know. Like, you may think different things, but one thing that it should, it should be a line drawn is that we can have a disagreement about what we believe in, but our families and, and what you may say about me, you know what I'm saying? What allegations you may say about me, it, it ha you have to be careful because, again, you have people that's so for you that may try to come at my family, and that's not okay. You feel me? Because you're a public figure. You're a public figure with thousands, maybe millions of followers on Instagram, millions, thousands of followers on social media, whatever. You have some diehard people that will ride or die for you that will literally go to jail for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I'm not saying this got to tie in, but it may tie in. Biden said put Trump in the bullseye, bullseye, something like that. I believe the person that shot Trump literally, or tried to shoot Trump, I'm sorry, tried to shoot Trump, probably literally took that literal. He probably took that so literal. Like, you have people that's following you that's not here mentally. He probably took that so literal and was like, put him in a bullseye. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Let's, let's set it all up. Like, literally, you have to be careful for what you say because it could put people's lives in danger, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, shout out to uh, Vivek, Vivek, Vivek. Vilik, man, shout out to this man, bro. I don't, I don't know how to say his freaking name, bro. It's so, it's not common. It's not a common name, and it's so unique. You know what I'm saying? So, but shout out to him for handling the situation the way it should have been handled. This is how real men handle situation. All that, all that yapping and punching, and that man, you ain't got to do all that. You can handle a situation with just showing this is how it's supposed to be done. Okay, this is how it's supposed to be done. So, yeah, shout out to him, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.